Brute is just bad. What? Am I wrong? <laughs> Alright. I thought I'd put this video together. I know it's a little bit controversial, but I think I'm right. And Brute is bad mainly due to one skill, and that is Intimidate. Yeah, I know, I know. Hear me out, hear me out. Alright. Let's just... Let's just get straight into it. Five reasons why Brute with the Intimidate skill is bad. First of all, it doesn't actually discard the cards out of the player's hand. Merely goes into the Banish zone and they get to use it next turn. It's just a big one. For me, it's a big one. I don't know. Number two. You have to discard. That's right. <laughs> On most of the Intimidate cards, um, you're discarding to get the Intimidate ability off Reiner and off some of the other cards. Um, you know, then there's cards, Barraging Beatdown, yeah, I'll give it to you. But there's other reasons as to why. And we'll come back to number one. It doesn't discard out of the player's hand, yeah? So bear with me. Number two. The opponent has cards for their next turn. So you've just gone on for an attack, and yes, you've done a big attack. You've got the cards out of hand. Well done. Now it's my turn and I'm coming at you. What are you going to do? Are you going to defend? You've just had a whopping turn where you've thrown out cards. You possibly don't have anything left in your arsenal. And now you're going to get attacked by me. You've left all the cards in my hand. This is a game of momentum. Now, if you did not finish off your opponent in that last turn, and if you are playing Brute as you need to finish him off in one turn. You're a, you're a one-trick pony. And after the first game, the opponent can adjust to that and pull off the next two games. You're going to be stuck with your <clears throat> with your um, items in hand. Yeah, I just don't see it. I There is no place for one-trick pony decks in this game for the long term anyway, if you're really going to make a mark with it. And you know what? I'm doing this video, and I really like Brute. It's probably why I'm doing the video. Prove me wrong with all this. So what else have I got on my list? So that's a big one for me, like leaving the opponent with cards in hands, and they get their momentum. Yeah? Point number four. You're essentially making the decision for the opponent now you can argue that that's a good thing, but you're taking the ability for them to make a mistake, to make a misplay away from them, yeah? Yeah, you're taking some control, but that's not where the game is at. And coming from the other end of it, being against Brute, like with my ninja cards, where I would possibly defend, you're going to intimidate one. You're going to intimidate two cards. All right, I'm left with two cards. They're probably three or two defense each. You're coming over with a big hit. Already I'm thinking to myself, do I block or do I just use these cards for energy to get the cards that you already threw out? Maybe it's a defense reaction. Who knows? You've just intimidated another one out. You know what? One card I'm not going to defend unless it's for life, uh, for the game. I'm not going to defend. I'm most likely going to keep it because I can do a lot more damage with one card if you're going to take that decision away from me. So I, I don't like it. It's not good. Uh, making, the, making the decision for the opponent and not forcing the error of them blocking and then them getting to their turn with two cards going, oh, shit, you know, that attack wasn't as big as what I thought it was and... 
So Kadashi, it's all right, your turn. And point number five. And guys, I'm well open to being proven wrong on all of this, yeah? Just throw it in the comments, have a go. As long as it creates discussion, it's a great thing. Um, with all these intimidates, you're paying for it. You're paying for it in some way or manner. Now, I've got a card in my hand, Barrage and Beatdown. It's probably the worst example because it works so against me. It's a zero cost, three defense, gives intimidate and gives pluses to the weapon. So it's a fantastic card by itself. Um, but on the other cards, are you paying the cost? Yeah? Are you, comparatively to other cards that you might see in generic cards, are you paying a little bit extra for the Intimidate based on everything else that I've said? Have I said anything that's relevant? Do I make sense? Do I not make sense? Let me know, but until someone proves me wrong, uh, these are my five reasons as to why Brute is bad, and I look forward to seeing some more Brute decks come out from, you know, Crucible of War, and to prove me wrong, I would love nothing more. But until that happens, Brute, you're just bad. <laughs>